Are there enough black men role models mm. or, you know, young black men growing up? Mm. I believe that the major difference you and I witness, because I'm going to assume you're of my generation. Are you a 90s baby? I am, yeah, 94. Cool. 93? Yeah, yeah. So you're my older by one year. I'm 94. 94, can't I believe the major difference between our generation and the 2000 babies is that at some point, the role of the big brother disappeared. Mm, okay. That's, that's my personal belief. Can, can you expand on that a little? So yeah. until today, I have people that are not my blood brothers that I refer to when I speak to them on the phone as big bro. Yeah. And I take pride in that. I take pride in knowing that I have older men that have the capacity to check me when I'm tripping. Yeah. Because it's possible to trip. Like, I'm a very confident man in myself, in my abilities and what I can achieve and what I'm here to do. I'm very clear on what my purpose is. Yeah. But regardless of that level of supremacy in self, it is definitely possible to get things wrong. And when I do get things wrong, I not only expect my people to check me, but I am thankful for the fact that people have got the capacity to do that and that I can take on criticism in a manner that will enable me to rebuild myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At some point, we have removed the position of the big bro who criticizes in order to edify the big bro, the father or whatever. And that's not just applicable to your family members. We've removed that out of the community. And now, supposedly, as a big bro, you can't check the youngsters like we could be checked when we was younger. Oh, so that gap's gone too big. The it's gap's gone too large. big. Right. Because now you yeah. might have a good intention and go and check the youngster, but he stabs you. Yeah, they, they see it as a, like, you're, yeah, you're undermining them. You're, Do you know what I'm saying? It's an ego you, you, thing, and, yeah. and you could literally approach the situation from a, let's even say, you shouldn't have to anyway, because in terms of, you know, you're older than the youngsters, so you know more things about life than ultimately than they do. Yeah. So when you're telling them, don't do that because you're going to end up here, you shouldn't yeah. have to make yourself smaller to do that. But let's even say you made yourself smaller to approach that youngster, you could still get stabbed or something bad could happen to you. It's true. You with me? Yeah. We've removed the importance of the big brother in the community because I believe that this is what kept us in check, right? A lot of us grew up without father figures because we can't ignore the baby boom uh, of single mothers that happened for a lot of the 90s babies. Yeah. It also happened for the 80s babies, but I believe in the 90s, we've seen that really begin to expand. And what kept the young men uh, that made it out of the Maza uh, afloat was that there was other men out here. Yeah, no, it's true. It's out here. Like, until to, like I said, until today, mm -hmm. obviously I'm... I'm I'll be, I'll be 30 in about a year and three months or so. Um, but even as someone who's about to enter, you know, the third level, as we call it, mm. I still got big bros right now. Yeah. Right now, like anything, obviously I keep myself in check in that, but anything, just one phone call. And they'll be like, okay, cool. Man's been there before. You get me a bit of guidance and that. You so, know, so you so that guidance is missing from, from the younger generation. Most definitely missing. And another thing that you're witnessing is that in terms of representation of us in the media or on camera, a lot of us decide to shy away from a position whereby we uh, not only speak on those things, but also um, take accountability and responsibility for our position in the equation. So brothers and sisters might make it. Yeah. And then instead of speaking out on certain situations, they will take the deal of an alcohol company being like, yeah, promote the alcohol. You know, we're going to get some nice lights and you're going to get that for life. And so now people with influence will promote alcohol brands, clothes, uh, ideologies. Oh, you wasn't at that party? Oh, you missed out. It was lit. Do you know what I'm saying? So you, you promote uh, concepts that represent frivolous. Mm. You do not promote concepts that represent longevity, right? Is that a sellout? I think it's fair to say that. But that being said, um, I do understand that people are motivated by a lot of the things that they have gone through and not everyone has developed the emotional intelligence required to detach yourself from strictly allowing trauma to be the driving factor in your life. So what do I mean by that? 
let's say there was a point in your life you had no money, you was down and out and you was on the floor, kicked and beaten. Mm -hmm. It takes a certain type of mind to get up from this situation and not allow this situation only to be the driving factor of the reason why you do what you do. If you allow the fact that when you was down and out on the floor, people kicked you and treated you bad to lead you, ultimately, all you're going to seek to be is a rich capitalist who doesn't care about people. Mm. But if you've got the capacity to rise above that, rise above your lower nature, what you're going to start to do is things that are deeper than just answering uh, the needs of providing for yourself and protecting yourself. Yeah. So on paper, it's fair to say that when you're just out here promoting brands and partnership deals, you're selling out to the community. But I will also say that I empathize with brothers and sisters that have gone through the worst and have not managed to overcome that. You know, I think it's important that we show empathy to one another mm -hmm. because we know our reality to be what it is. There's certain things that I can speak to you about. I could never speak to someone outside of our community. I see. Do you see what I'm saying? No, no, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat>